What kind of spring is this, where there are no flowers and the air is filled with a miserable smell? That three-line poem by the poet Muslim Dost was written in the Guantanamo Bay detention center on a polystyrene cup, which was then passed from cell to cell, from inmate to inmate, a cup exactly like this one. The cup poem by a Muslim Dost is one of a collection of poems that has been uh, published, collected in Guantanamo Bay Detention Center and published. And like a lot of the poems in this collection, it illustrates some of the abiding truths about poetry. But poetry is, perhaps of all the art forms, the one which speaks most directly to our strong feelings. Certainly it's a form that people turn to naturally at moments of crisis or particular intensity in their lives. But one of the other truths that it also bears out is that even though it is the product of very particular and lamentable circumstances, it also looks beyond, this poem looks beyond those circumstances and seeks general truths. And in seeking those general truths also seeks certain kinds of freedom. So it's a poem which reaches into the self and reaches beyond the self at the same time. I'm now going to read you another poem by a Muslim Dost, also written when he was in Guantanamo Bay. And I read it to you in the hope that Guantanamo and all other illegal detention centers will soon be closed. Just as the heart beats in the darkness of the body, so I, despite this cage, continue to beat with life. Those who have no courage or honor consider themselves free, but they are slaves. I am flying on the wings of thought, and so, even in this cage, I know a greater freedom.